Your past has a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. Hmm. Also, I like the uh, murder red rum thing. Nice touch. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. Funhouse is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? John Mira. Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. Ah. 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 Well, there really is no escape, but I was go behind the backdrops, mm -hmm. getting warm. Also, we get to do more fun with physics. Oh, that was lame. Come on. Really? Come on. Shoot. These balls launch faster than that. Come on. Are you, are you serious right now? Oh, come on. They hit stuff. God, that's lame. Okay. They used to, you know, hit all these guys and knock them over. Here, let me just... Fuck all this. You can't knock these guys over. You can knock him over. Let's knock this shit over, too. Break everything. <laughs> no reason. <laughs> when I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Well, Mona's got her door locked, so... Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. <laughs> also, that was interesting. When I walked over here... Huh. This part of the gray is loose. I wonder if that will come in late... come in, you know, into effect later. Wait. Let me... Let's go downstairs. Anything here? Painkillers? No? Alright. Wait. Nothing? Okay. Lords and ladies brought to you in part by Gold Touch Brandy. Let's try and ignore that back there. Going somewhere, little brother? My lord, Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you... Are you spying on me? Hardly conduct fit for a lord? Not so, if the other one is no lord to begin with. It is not I whose actions are in question here, Valentine. Where do you think you are going at this ungodly hour? 
Who put you up to this shameful errand? Mama? Leave our parents out of this. Papa, the esteemed Sheriff of York, was well on his way to recovery from the consumption when the news of you carrying on with that wench, a pirate's daughter, no less, brought about his relapse. Border dash! Soon Papa will be dead because of you. And I will be the head of the family. Continue seeing her at your own peril. Are you threatening me, my lord? I will cut you off, Valentine. That and worse. I bid you good night, brother. That and worse, brother. <laughs> that and worse. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> also, a picture of a uh, owner and twin sister who died in the first game. Cleansing, cleaning products. After dirty business, come clean with us. Also, uh, check this out. This is the uh, poster for the dragon. Sorry. And Kenneth Young. And uh, this is actually a reference to the uh, famous um, Kung Fu mod for the original Max Payne game. It was made by uh, Kenneth Young. And it is one of the most popular Max Payne you know, mods, you know, ever. Well, other than, you know, Katana, of course. But then again, you know, Katana used some of the. Uh, stuff from the Kung Fu mod in it, so... The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. Ooh, an MP5. Yeah, here. I can't pick up the ammo. Also has a scope. Also, let's barge in on her from the shower. Now, I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? <laughs> now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You'll have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. Hmm. What's this all got to do about the inner circle? She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. Oh, great. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guard set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go up. I'll go up. You're the man. I have the floor plans in front of me. I can guide you through. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. At a time when she was a supermodel on a catwalk, until she's standing real close to me at the bar, and she goes, 
your place or mine. And I play it cool. I go, yours, baby. <laughs> yeah, right. I saw the same movie yesterday. You should listen. You might learn something. Right. How to make a fool of yourself. <laughs> your place or mine, Jesus. You're jealous. I think there's one more in the here. The door's locked. Oh. Try the door. Alright, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. <laughs> Slams face first into the door. The door's locked. <laughs> okay, so that's where we need to go. That's the large painting. But we're gonna go over here just a little bit. Okay, then. Well, that's just it. What you don't see is that we are working here. This is a pro setup, top of the line. This isn't something to joke about. This isn't just a costume party. But take Kaufman. Believe me, without going into details, Kaufman is a bad motherfucker. Of course, that's not his real name. Yeah, no, I see it. I meant nothing by it. And that's the other thing. You should mean something by it. Take a stand for once in your life. Come on, I get the point, okay? Hey, just saying. Just saying. Yeah, I get the point. Hey, you! They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other Inner Circle members live in the building. I shot him clear across the room. Jesus. Found a body, a thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. Okay. A fat politician. Why does that not surprise me? Jeez. <laughs> Lords and Ladies is super popular. <laughs> so is the cleansing clean products, apparently. Who would have thought that cleansing clean products were, you know, higher I'm in. killers? I'm gonna look around. Nothing. Nothing here. Check upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Papers, photos, everything needs to go. This place needs to be cleaner it's ever been. Kaufman's orders. If and when the CSI crew gets here, it needs to look like a black hole materialized. Stop it! Shit. Holy moly. <laughs> now I got full ammo on the Ingrams. Finally. We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved. Yep. Now, time to get in touch with uh, One-Eyed Alfred again. Why is this locked? That's why. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> I directly hit him. Man, that song's getting around a lot in this game. You should be able to make the jump to the balcony below. This guy was already dead, but for some reason he was already, you know, propping up the piano for some reason. <laughs> Mona is worse than Max. I don't believe it. Also, Captain Baseball, Bat Boy. <laughs> Mona, what next? More of them in the lobby ahead. Of course. God, when you want to kill one guy, they end up. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh... Jeez, when you're sent to kill one guy, you're not supposed to, you know, shoot up the entire fucking building. Where are you? No, no, no! What is this? Okay, nice timing. <laughs> hey, Wall Street yuppies. What wasn't he on? <laughs> Lots of ups, no downs. <laughs> Lucky we had something to calm him down. That's what the doctor ordered. Sure enough. <laughs> Well, he was packing painkillers, so... Hmm. Wow, lots of painkillers. Alright. One moment. <laughs> Address unknown continues. Wherever I went, the payphones started to ring. Finally, I collected enough courage to answer one. John, you must run. He's coming after you. He wants to catch you. They're closing in. John, I love you. Don't give up. I wasn't going to give up on her. I could hear her voice in my head wherever I went, guiding me. I traced my double to a classy uptown nightclub, Pink Flamingo. It was happy hour. They were serving flamingo cocktails. Somehow the flamingo was tied to my double. A stripper in the bar looked just like my girlfriend. Mira's men had found me. 
I ran. Stop him! There he goes! Stop him! You can't escape! We're coming to take you away! You have nowhere to run! Mira was an influential figure in Noir York. His men chased me. They wore white uniforms. They looked so clean. They chased me in black vans with the logo of the Flamingo on them. I ran. All right. Oh, oh yes. Oh, oh yes. Oh. Max Heat is back. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh. Max Heat and Laura Norder in Max Heat 7. Late night adult entertainment after midnight. Pleased to meet you. Dearest of all my friends, allow me to introduce myself. I am Vladimir Lev. I invite you to the grand opening of my restaurant, Vodka. Come, make a scene. You will be seen. Clear as vodka. Vodka. Style, grace, and taste. Hmm. Hey. Hey. Shit. <laughs> Ideas, Max. I'll check the apartment the cleaner was guarding. Why would I risk my life on a window cleaner's lift when I can use the elevator? I don't know. For fun. The thrill of it. Like bungee jumping. Extreme sports. You know. Don't get it. That's something for stupid kids with a death wish. I don't need to die to feel I'm alive. This isn't exactly a job without its hazards, what we are doing. Granted, but we get paid for doing this. Money's the difference. The guy will put up with all kinds of crazy shit for money. Eh, fair enough. Oh, come on. Hey. Come on. Hey. Damn it, that was lame. Mona. We're, we're, we're reloading. <laughs> Do over. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we can still do better. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. We'll do it with the Desert Eagles. They're powerful enough. I think. God damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I just... I will not be satisfied enough. Okay. Okay. Oh, come on, why did you switch to the... Good Mona, enough. I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know, I just... just wanted to say... Damn it! Mona? Mona? Mona! Say hi to the pavement, sucker! Oh, shit. Um... We gotta jump down as they're dropping grenades on us. Ow. Someone had got the Mona. Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby. Also, uh, since I'm down here, there's a little secret over here. God, that's young. Well, rest in peace, whoever you are. This is also another little uh, secret, but um, we won't be able to uh, unlock it until um, we get towards the end of the level. We'll come back here after.
And there he is, Kaufman. Find him, take care of him. So he's the uh, supposed badass, huh? Well, let's see for ourselves. Badass my ass. Yeah. Okay, before we go into that elevator, now we can uh, activate the secret. For those of you who are confused, that's actually a reference to the uh, original Grand Theft Auto games. Before they were, you know, the type of third-person, you know, perspective type of game, they were actually top-down shooters like that. All right, now we can leave. Why had she come to me in the first place? For help? for something she wasn't telling me. NYPD, freeze! <laughs> Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. I don't know what I'm doing either. <laughs> what were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes. I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Pam, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. At myself. At Pervora. At Mona. Was she worth this? Don't envy you. The way the boss goes on about it. No use going in there to clean up. Let him cool off a bit. You better just write that report. He's on his good behavior again. Demotes himself from deputy chief to lieutenant just to stay close to the man on the street. You ask me, he loves us all a bit too much for his own good. The spokesperson for AA, he gave you that too? Gotta hand it to him though, he did beat the bottle. Something like that's gotta stay with you. Alright, I'm gonna leave it off here for now. But until then, I will see you later.